We are uh, the GOC One Division's anti-tank armoured reserve um, by way of, of helicopters. Now the Gazelles obviously are not anti-tank helicopters but they provide the eyes and the ears and the ability to direct artillery fire and control fighter air support and also direct the anti-tank helicopters, the Lynx, onto any target. So the two are complementary. It's armed with the American uh, TOW missile, that's tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided missile, and it's uh, a straight buy from the Americans, so you'll find the same missile on the, on the Cobra here, the Army Cobra and the US Marine Cobra. Mm. And we have um, a slight difference from the Americans in that we mount the sight up on the roof of the helicopter, and like the Americans who mount it down in the chin, we believe that the roof-mounted sight uh, provides us better um, uh, hiding facility, if you will, um, than the Americans. But other than that, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, slightly different techniques than we use in Europe. Uh, normally in Europe we would fire from a hover behind cover of one sort or another. Here, of course, there's no cover. So we're learning the technique of firing on the move, which is different. Uh, but it didn't prove a problem, and the missile system was perfectly able to cope with that. Um, actually, uh, mechanical bits and pieces don't like the sound, and the helicopter's no different from, from any other. And anything that moves is going to find itself being eroded by the sound. So we have problems, or not problems, we have, um, we have to address the blades that move around through the sand, and we've put tape and uh, a very hard paint on the blades to avoid uh, blade erosion. And the engines, of course, don't like ingesting sand, and so oh, we Roger, have we're sand filters to. actually on the intake of the engine, and you've taken pictures of those. And they separate the sand out of the air by swirling it round right. centrifugally, and then throw the sand out the side. Mm. They prolong the engine life here uh, dramatically. So the design of the new sand filter is working well um, in its uh, yeah. design environment? Yes, it's working very well. Yeah. It's, um, it's a different environment and it's a lot warmer than a, a winter in Germany. And I've got um, the best aircraft, uh, frankly, for the job that we've got, and plenty of them. And um, I'm getting lots of flying and by and large that's what keeps pilots happy.